Guys, Ogs here from the US. Thank you so much for watching. Marash Kumbula from Hela Verona, 20 years old, Albania international, is linked with Chelsea Football Club. It's not the first time because he was linked with Chelsea last January and I made a video back then. I don't know much about him. All I know is that he's 20 years old. He's six foot three, very tall dude, commanding in the defense. And he's a good friend with uh, Armando Broja, the Chelsea wonder kid from the academy. Remember him? So I'm not gonna pretend here knowing this dude, but according to a few clips that I watched on YouTube, he looks okay. But my problem now is that so many people on social media are overreacting, comparing him with Andreas Christensen and Kurt Zuma, okay? And uh, they brought all the statistics and all that. Man, sometimes I don't believe on those statistics, you know, because they don't really tell you the whole story behind a player. This is a player who is playing for Hella Verona in Italy. They have no pressure at all. They are not expecting to win anything. And you know, all they have to do is just to maintain themselves in Serie A and the job is done. You can go for stats. That's that's the way people that don't understand football analyze football is with stats. Um, I don't go for stats. I go for what I felt and for what I I I watch in the game. And if you're gonna compare him with uh, somebody who is playing for a team like Chelsea under pressure, need to win things every single year, that is not fair and it doesn't reflect anything. Anyways, I'm I'm not trying to criticize the guy, but I'm trying to educate certain people. This channel is also about education help you think outside the box because we always think that another player from another team is always a baller even if you didn't know his name last night you just jump on youtube watch some clips and conclude immediately and start calling him a baller and better than anything that we got at the club come on guys Christensen is going to improve next season. Zuma also is improving since his uh, horrible injury that he got against Man United few 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 seasons back. So I'm not really impressed about the, the dude. I think it's uh, maybe his agent trying to to hype him and you know put him on the market out there because he's been linked with uh, man united and also um inter and some other clubs so who knows it could be just the uh, paper talk that is uh, the nature of this business so don't listen to everything that you that people are telling you i think it's very clear that there are people in your profession that write fake news you do she does because it's slow news right now. People are looking for something to say. It's the same information that we are recycling every single day. Don't be surprised tomorrow. Another news about Dembele or, you know, Telus and it's the same thing going on over and over again. So if I was given a chance to choose between Kumbula and Christensen, I would take Christensen for sure. He's still 23 years old. He knows the Premier League. He's getting better. And next season, he's going to be in a different level. Nobody knew who Van Dyke was a couple seasons ago. Come on. When he was 23 years old, nobody wanted him in their team. Now, everybody wants him, right? Because he was given a chance to play, make mistakes, and learn from those mistakes. I also strongly believe that the defense is not the biggest issue at Chelsea Football Club. We still have Ethan Ampadu, Mark Gouy who can come and reinforce the defense. The problem is in, an, in, in the final third. If we, if we can just 
score 10% of the chances created. We were not going to complain about Christensen, the defense, or Kepa Arizabalaga. Fact. Even Frank Lampard said it. It, it. it reminded me of some performances this year that we've lost at home in the first half. Lots of good play, chances, and we haven't taken them. Um, but... but I know there are certain people who are very good on analyzing things from their couches and anything that the team are doing or Frank Lampard is doing is not good enough. It's always something, it's always somebody to blame, but they forgot that we missed 10 chances before we conceded and we collapsed. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this situation. Would you sell Christensen and buy Kumbula? Or would you trust Christensen and trust the process? Think outside the box and see you in the next one.